everyone, so today I wanted to do kind of two videos in one. When I did my suggestions video, a lot of you suggested that I do a lot more kind of get to know me videos, kind of alongside the reviews, so you get to know more about me as a person, as well as what I think about certain programs. And a lot of you said that you really like my ASMR videos and would like to see me do a few different types of ones of those. So I thought I'd combine both of them today. So this won't be a whisper video like I normally do. It will be soft spoken, as I'm sure you can tell, which is why I'm sitting a little bit closer to the camera than normal, just to make sure it picks up the sound. But the main purpose of this video is going to be a what is in my travel toiletries bag. And this is my travel toiletries bag. So I thought this would be quite a fun get to know me kind of video because as some of you will know I do travel a lot and because I travel a lot I do need a lot of kind of travel toiletries and things and over the last few years I've been I guess experimenting with how much product I need to take and what I need to take. Now I do not know what's going on with that bit of hair. I do kind of like to try and pack as lightly as possible, which is why, as you can see here, most of the contents are miniatures. So I'm just going to go through the contents of the bag and talk a little bit about them. So in terms of the ASMR portion of this, it's not going to be the longest video, but if you like this kind of ASMR video, please thumb me up down there and I'll make sure to do more of these. So first of all, the two things I always take that are not miniatures are deodorants and body sprays. I'm not specific about brands really, but for the purpose of this video, this is the Soft and Gentle, which I really like. It's, it is my favourite of all deodorants. And the body spray is Impulse. And this one is Sweet Smile, which is Pear and Jasmine. I do love Impulse, but I tend to only buy it when it's on offer, because it is a little bit expensive. And please excuse any traffic noise that you can hear. I have tried my best to film this when there is no knots. So now we will go through what is in my travel bag. So the bag itself, you get these all over. I got this one from Poundland. Um, but I know Wilkinson sell them, Superdrug and Boots will sell them for probably a, a bit more than a pound. So I have to take things out one by one. So the first things we have in here are shampoo and conditioner and these are just the Pantene products and these are just smooth and sleek. Ordinarily I use volumizing shampoo because I like big hair but you know it's really expensive to get miniatures and the miniatures I get for shampoos are usually uh, three for two, so I get three for two pound or three for two fifty, depending on where you go. So I thought that these would be good. Um, they're just shampoos, but I find that they last quite a long time. I know hotels sometimes give shampoos and conditioners and things as freebies, but I like to play it safe with what I know that works. So I like those. And the next, I guess, sticking. with the shower theme is Nivea shower cream which if you can see this I think you can it's just basic and a white cream it has quite a try and put that on without making it click loudly sorry it has quite a, a 
inconsistency so it's going to last quite a long time that actually came in a gift set I got for my birthday of Nivea products so I'm not sure how much that is on its own but I'm pretty sure you'll be able to buy it alongside the other miniatures in the various offers that a lot of shops like Savers and Wilco and that do so I really like this one and this should last me quite a little, quite a long time, at least a few trips and then another Nivea product and this is the Nivea soft moisturizing cream I have crazy dry, dry skin I wasn't going to say that correctly there so it's important that I use moisturizer all the time and I also have really sensitive skin so I struggle to find moisturizers that don't make my face burn but I found that Nivea soft does work for me and again, this came in the same gift set as that. So I can't tell you how much that is, but I do currently have a massive tub of this for three pound. So I think you can get this for about a pound. And this just looks, you can see that, just like a normal cream. And I definitely recommend it if you have quite sensitive skin. I was using Simple Derma, but for some reason I can't seem to find it. So this product is really very good. And the last one in the back. Now I do not take this one with me all the time. But any travelling I do this summer, this will be coming with me. This is SPF 50 sun cream or moisturising sun lotion and this is from, as you can see there, the Wilco Sun Care Kids range and it is purple and I will show you the purple cream in a minute. Um, I couldn't find anywhere a miniature adult sun cream so I just got the children's one and because it's F SPF 50 it's going to work. I have again really sensitive skin and I don't tan, I burn so sun cream is very important to me when I'm going somewhere and you know, I'm going to be out all day doing the, doing the touristy thing, going to be out in the open and it's going to be hot most likely because I know what my looks like I don't like the sun so it's going to be sunny so I need this, it is my lifesaver and from Wilkinson this was £1.50 and this is, squeeze a little bit out, it's very thick but when you spread it out, see it? you can see the purple colour to it there, but as you kind of spread it out it just blends in nicely. So I'm really happy I found that because it just fits nice and snug into the back. So as I said, the sun cream is not something I would buy every day. I would not take that with me all the time. But on this occasion, over the next few months, it will be coming with me. It's weird because I don't wear it when I'm not travelling or when I'm not you know, visiting anywhere. I don't wear it when I'm just nipping out when I'm where I live. It's probably really bad. I probably should. Then we have, as I said, this one, which is lovely. So I love Nivea products. And although Pantene is not always my shampoo of choice, it's, at least where I live, the most readily available of the miniatures. So it's just for convenience I get these. And they're not that bad. They really aren't. And then my lifesaver moisturiser. Of course if I was going anywhere for longer than say a week, I would take bigger versions of these and I'd take a bigger shell or cream. Um, but I think the shampoo and conditioner would probably last about say two weeks worth of washing, maybe even more depending on the length of your hair because I have, if you can see that, reasonably long hair. <laughs> So definitely 
at least a week. And then my life saver moisturizer, which I could not live without. So that is the what's in my travel toiletries bag. So for those of you who wanted this kind of video, I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope that those of you who like my ASMR videos have liked this new approach to doing them. I'm not sure if I'll be doing them all this time, this kind all the time. But do let me know in the comments what you prefer, if you've even made it to the end of this video. And if you've done this sort of video, please comment as well. As I would love to check it out. And I'll see you all next time. Bye!